Brrrr. Hey yo, bros, how are you? <laughs> There's this bird. These birds over here. I don't know if you can see them. They're like, oh, there There we go. Aga, oh, wow. It's your brother, Paul. Aga. <laughs> Aga. Oh, Yesterday and this morning, I was listening to these videos by this guy named Ed Milet. And this guy, Ed Milet, he was talking about a bunch of things. I got a bunch of things. One of the things that he spoke about, one of them, <laughs> that caught my attention, is confidence. I got. And what I'm about to share with you, I learned from him and I learned from Brandon Carter some time back. So I did it before and it helped me a fuck ton when I was doing it. Okay, helped me a fuck ton. Just gonna add some hype. <laughs> add some hype to this ish before I give it to you. Before I give it to you. You know how it is before sex. You gotta tease, you gotta tease. Make them want it. Make a fucking want it. To enjoy it and to get the most value out of it. Okay? So for you to get the most value out of this tip. <laughs> this tip. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what it did for me. Oh gosh. So it's about basically keeping your promises that you make to yourself. These promises that you make to yourself. So when I got into fitness, when I was like really into fucking fitness, it was a fucking lifestyle, okay? It's part of my life again now. And so yeah, it helped me. The thing that he spoke about and I'm going to start doing it again, okay? So this is what happened. I stuck to the things I said I was going to do. I made sure that I did them no matter what. Sometimes there were things that I wasn't able to do or I didn't do, but I did almost all of it. Just like poof, 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 poof. And what happened was it built up this, this internal confidence, okay, where you don't really care about the outside world so much, like you love people and all that stuff, but you don't really care about other things because your real confidence, whoop, something here, your real confidence stems from inside of you. So it's like an example of what happened to me is like, I met this bro, right? Who was with this? Who was with these? With another bro? With some other chicks and stuff like that. Can't quite remember exactly how it was. But now he was like, "Yo, Paul, let me radio interview you." So he interviewed me on the radio, and he offered me this thing without even like hearing me rap. He was like, "Yo, let me uh, interview you about your rapping, put you on air and stuff like that." And I'm like, "Yo, okay, cool." He didn't even know whether I was good at rapping or not. He was just like, "Yo." bring it in okay <clears throat> and <laughs> I was actually talking to my brother about this this morning bros oh bros and sisters because I just found out that there's also girls watching my channel not surprised not fucking surprised at fucking all so <laughs> so fucking amazing oh god so there were these these times when people would just say wow Paul you just you've got this energy you've got this aura you've got this um, just this, this something something about you you've just got this this energy this shine about you and my mom would tell me afterwards <laughs> my mom would tell me afterwards like Paul don't get big-headed don't get big-headed when you hear this oh, 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 something in my eye. don't get big-headed when you hear this that shine that's in you that's God that's the Holy Spirit that's inside of you um, and now my brother and I, we always laugh about it. <laughs> we always laugh about it because like at that time, it's so ironic because at that time I was watching a guy who swears a fuck ton. Like he swears a lot. Oh my goodness. I'm so good in this picture. I'm going to take a picture like this. Look into my eyes. Oh. Mm. So he swears a fuck ton. And <laughs> he swears a fuck ton. Brandon Carter <laughs> and so yeah it was definitely from yeah obviously I'm blessed with a lot of great things pink lips amazing eyes amazing eye brows and amazing other things and I love that okay I'm so fucking grateful and thankful and so it was from keeping the promises that I made to myself and when I kept those promises then amazing doors kept on opening. 
amazing fucking doors. So, yeah, I'm gonna link the video in the description, and you guys can get some fucking massive tip. <laughs> some, <laughs> some massive value out of that video. Uh, watch the whole fucking 50 minutes. It's a good session. A good fucking 50 minutes. Who could last that long? Only your brother, Paul. Oh my fuck. Oh! Okay. It's fucking, it's legendary. There's actually two. I'll put them both in the description for you. Okay, I love you, brothers and sisters. And welcome to all the new members. And all the members that have been aboard since fucking day one. Now, I'm about to make a fucking video thingy here. Before I go back over there. Oh my fuck, I gotta keep this promise that I made to myself. So I won't make the fucking quick video because why? Because why? Because I'm keeping the promises that I make to myself and I'm not gonna procrastinate. No, I'm gonna fucking go there and continue adding the massive emotional reasons that fuel my action that I take towards my goals. So I'm gonna do that. I love you, bros, and I love you, sisters, and just enjoy your fucking day, niggas. Peace! Look at these fingers from the weather! I love you.